Hey friend, welcome back to my channel. How's it going? How are your manifestations? Tell me everything. I feel like we're telepathically communicating and I just heard you say everything's moving along. So happy to hear that. I'm really excited to talk to you. This is very important because this is something that throws off so many people's manifestations, myself included. And I feel like I have finally cracked the code to not let imposter syndrome get in the way of my manifestations. One of the most important parts of manifesting is genuinely believing that you deserve what you want. And imposter syndrome is just that voice in your head that's like, girl, you're not working hard enough. You don't deserve this. Everybody knows that you're a fraud. You know, this is not gonna work. You're not worthy and so on and so forth. And today we are telling that voice in three simple ways. As per usual, I have everything timestamped in the description, so if you already know something, you can skip ahead, you can rewind, I got you. Also, of course, as always, make sure you check out my other manifesting videos. I have a whole playlist on my channel. I personally recommend starting with Manifesting 101. That is just the starter baseline law of attraction video. Start there, get the baseline. If you've never heard of manifesting or you're just getting into it, and then come back to this one. Also, if you wanna see more videos about manifesting, I keep it realistic, I tell you straight up, I dispel the lies. <laughs> Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. I am gonna do about five million more of these videos. So, looking forward to that. Okay, let's get into it. The first thing I wanna tell you is that imposter syndrome is completely normal. This is not something that you need to beat yourself up about. This is not ruining your manifestations. Doubting yourself is normal. We all have negative thoughts. At one time or another, when you're pursuing something that means a lot to you, imposter syndrome is gonna come up. So acknowledge this fact, but also realize that you are manifesting 24 seven. Positive thought, negative thought, it's all being manifested. I know one way that I negatively manifest is if I'm going into a social situation and someone that I don't vibe with is gonna be there, I go into it and I'm like, ugh, so and so is gonna be there, this is not gonna be good. And then lo and behold, I go and it's not good because my mindset going into it was out of whack. I was already annoyed before I even showed up. When you have a negative thought, when you're feeling imposter syndrome, acknowledge it, accept it, and refocus. So instead of thinking, ugh, I have no money, I'm so freaking broke, let's flip that and say, Oh, I'm so excited to have money. I feel so relieved by the financial freedom that I'm experiencing. It also helps to get to the root of your negative thoughts. This is a little bit of self-work and it can be a little painful, but it is really helpful to understand where the negative thoughts are coming from. Like who told you that you weren't talented enough to reach your goals? Who told you that? When did you learn that you don't deserve nice things? When did you learn that you're not a hard worker? You've got to unlearn these things and it's really hard to flip that narrative, especially when you've been telling yourself for such a long time that you don't deserve nice things or that you're a fraud or that you don't deserve to be in the spaces that you're in. Yeah, it's really hard to flip that. It just requires a mindset shift. So when you're having those negative thoughts, instead of wallowing in them and basking in the negativity, acknowledge that they're there, recognize it, because recognizing it is the hardest part and flip it. And eventually your mindset will shift where you're just gonna be flipping the imposter syndrome thoughts left and right and it's gonna be a lot easier, but it definitely takes a little bit of work at first. So just keep in mind that doubting yourself is normal, imposter syndrome is normal, nothing is wrong with you. And let's get to the root of why you feel like you're an imposter because you're definitely not, okay? You're definitely not. There are people who are not working as hard as you who are getting what you want simply because they believe they deserve it. It also helps me to keep that in mind too. <laughs> what also helps me when I get into this loop of imposter syndrome is just remembering past references. Like I said earlier, you have manifested every aspect of your life so far. Whether you have recognized it or not, your thoughts are very, very powerful. So let's take an inventory of all the stuff you've manifested. Let's take an inventory of everything that you have to be grateful for. Let's take an inventory of all the things that you have been able to accomplish so far. Think about how many times you've gotten what you wanted. This is a super weird example, but this was happening before I even knew what the law of attraction was. And it's such a funny thing that my mom and I talk about all the time. But I would be in middle school or high school or whatever. It would be close to the end of the day and I'd be like, oh, you know what I'm really craving? mozzarella sticks. It would be like random stuff like that. And then my mom would pick me up from school with the mozzarella sticks. Seriously, she'll tell you. Like, she would pick me up with mozzarella sticks. I was manifesting. I don't know about, listen, think what you want, 
But that was me manifesting mozzarella sticks, okay? And of course, on a larger scale, I've manifested a lot of other things too. But the point is that we've been able to get all this stuff so far, so what's to stop you from getting the things that you want moving forward? There are infinite possibilities, there are infinite manifestations that are gonna happen for you. This is what an abundance mindset is all about. All you have to do is go and get it, like you have been. Good job. The last thing that I do to flip my imposter syndrome on its head is get inspiration from others. And this can be really hard if you are someone who is insecure and tends to compare yourselves to others. We see all the time social media can be a comparison game. It can make you feel like shit about yourself because other people are doing things that you're not and you're jealous and you're envious and you feel like, why can't I have a life like them? I've been there, I completely understand. But once you start to gain a confidence and belief in yourself, you can use other people as a source of inspiration. You can use people who are at the place that you wanna be to call you to that place. Surround yourself with people who are ambitious, with people who inspire you in real life and online. Follow people who are doing what you wanna do. Personally, I love to surround myself in real life with people who know things that I don't with people who I can learn from. It inspires me. And before I did the self work, I would get really intimidated around people like that. But once you start to acknowledge your own power, you're less intimidated by other people who are also stepping into their power. And I can do a whole video on confidence and stepping into your power. If you wanna see that, just let me know. But you are who you hang out with, right? Tell me who your friends are and I'll tell you who you are. Surround yourself with people who inspire you. Surround yourself with people who are doing things that you wanna do. Not only will they help you get where you need to go, give you advice and support you along the way, but they will inspire you and they will give you a real life visualization of what is to come. So use that to your advantage to get what you want and always remember that nothing is oversaturated and there will always be room for you. So if you're saying, oh my God, I follow all of these girls who are fashion bloggers and I wanna be a fashion blogger, but because there are so many people, I feel like there's no space for me. There's always space for you. <laughs> okay, there's always space for you. There are always people who are pursuing that and getting popular even now, right? Like you still have people who are blowing up on TikTok in the beauty space, in the fashion space. You still have people who are singers and actors who are getting their start who you've never heard of before who are blowing up now. Like, it's not oversaturated. There is room for you. You bring something unique to the table. So just don't get intimidated by the fact that there are people who are already doing what you wanna do. Use it to your advantage, use it as an inspiration, and go and get it. I really hope this video helps. Imposter syndrome, it's something that we all deal with. I deal with it. Doubt is normal. It's all about how you can handle it. It's all about how you can acknowledge it and recenter and just keep your eyes on the prize. And if nothing else, I believe in you. Like, I know that you can do it. I know that you can get what you want. And I don't even know you like that. So why don't you believe in yourself? Good luck out there. Go and get it. And I'll see you in my next video next weekend. Mwah. Proud of you.